Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting Dead in the Manger Transients EP on 20 bucks spin. All hope is meaningless. Got to see these guys live last week. Just holy fucking shit. It was absolutely phenomenal. Fucking just on the money exactly what I really wanted out of this band it was fucking sick especially since for some reason not that many people were there probably because Woven Hand was playing with Sub Rosa on the other side of Philly but Dead in the Mangers just one of those bands they fucking kill it I love them fucking just awesome this and Cessation just oh my god I just wish they had more material because it's just a giant dick tease. Like, they're so fucking good. But, um, I want to talk about a side project right now from uh, the guys in Buckshot Fake Facelift, which uh, features the vocalist of Artificial Brain. But, um,. Some of the uh, other guys have a side project called Cell Phone, and they also have another project, which I'll go over another time. But this is not metal whatsoever. This is more seriously, like, if you've ever heard the 1997 Revelation Records compilation, th this is really, really close to the sounds of a lot of the indie slash emo rock bands of that time period but instrumental and it's fucking sick actually it's really 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 an interesting and fun listen like it has all these progressive and like jazzy fucking tunes like and sometimes like uh, there's like a little hint of like metal trying to like break through and it like will build up to it and then like flatline it and it's just really really cool and just interesting like I don't know the musicianship on here is awesome and if I had to compare this to anything I'm not even sure if you guys know who this band is if you do fucking a if not check them out especially their first album but um I repress it, it sounds like I repress just with the focus on like the bass guitar and when the regular guitar is played it really has this like underwater sounding like effect to it it's just super fucking cool like I really really dig the fucking bass like like the bass tone it reminds me of like failure fantastic planet but just not as heavy so imagine a less heavy version of failure with no vocals so like take the segues into the songs on fantastic planet and uh you know just make them a little more jazzy a little more alternative and 90s sounding instead of like being miles ahead of everyone else like failure was this two seven, this 2007 demo right here was recorded by Phil Douglas, and it's just fucking cool as shit. Like, to hear bands that, you know, are playing, like, vicious death grind and stuff, and then they hand you, like, an indie rock demo, it's fucking sick. Like, it just shows that, you know, metalheads aren't just metalheads like we all have open minds for the most part like there's certain hip-hop groups i love there's other ones i i could give a fuck about i i could bear i could probably name you like five hip-hop groups but one of my favorites are the demigods and yeah like big l all that stuff it's sick but when it comes to new rap it's fucking garbage but I don't know why I started talking about rap when that has nothing to do with cell phone here, like, it's just fucking awesome, like, I really, really dig this demo, it's really fast too, like, you have just five tracks and they go by really fast, it has a real nice flow to it, it's a real easy listen, and it's just 
something to throw on, you know, and just chill out, like, if you want, like, I, I got this last night, and I kinda, as soon as I got home, I was pretty interested, I was like, huh, I wonder what the, I figured it would be a metal project, to be honest, and when it wasn't, that actually, like, I was like, oh, like, let me check this out a little more. And I ended up, like, actually really enjoying it. It also has hints of, like, dysrhythmia. So, you gotta look at the time period. It is recorded in 2007, and a lot, a lot of bands were, like, going that direction of, like, you know, kind of being a little more jazzy and... Dysrhythmia, in my opinion, were doing it before a lot of other bands, but that whole, like, you know, progressive sounding, jazzy, instrumental style of music started kind of taking off, and I guess this was a direct, um, you know, inspiration from that time period, just based on when this was released and stuff, and. It's fucking cool. Um, you have Tom, Mark, and Joe. That's the only real information you get on cell phone. But these dudes are from Long Island, New York. Just really, really cool, like, 90s-influenced alternative rock with a progressive, jazzy fucking vibe to it with some killer instrumental tracks. Like, five kick-ass, like, alternative like tunes it's just it's a very very simplistic i love the fucking brick ass cell phone too but it's just a very very easy to get into and pretty cool background music to be honest like it's very very short in its duration but like let's say you have some like work to do or something and you just want to throw something on in the background that's pretty chill this, this is awesome, like, for what it is, it's cool, it's definitely interesting when bands reach outside of their, you know, respected circle of the underground and release something, you know, as out of the fucking bag as this, like, this is, you know, you wouldn't even think the guys involved in this have anything to do with extreme music, but... Yeah, they do, and they also have a fucking kick-ass taste in, you know, early, mid, late 90s alternative indie, you know, music. And it all shows right here on a cell phone self-titled demo. And, uh, yeah, if I had to give this a score, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, just because it's so fucking short. But, um, these guys have another side project, which is also instrumental, but it's more on the folk side of things. Like, there's a banjo in it and stuff. I need to listen to that a little more. I think it's called The Back of My Face. Weird, uh, band name, but, uh, from what I listened to last night, I really, really, again, I, I was kind of caught off guard. I was like, whoa, this is pretty cool. But, um, yeah, cell phones demo. It's pretty good stuff. And uh, we've been blasting the A-side of Dead in the Manger's Transients EP. This is some fucking pure blackened grind fire. So goddamn good and so fucking good live. This is some limited red color. But awesome, awesome stuff by Dead in the Manger. And if you want something a little different, check out Cell Phone. Um, I'm not even sure if I can find a band camp for these guys but hey if you see like artificial brain on their next tour go up and ask about this project just be like hey do you guys have any cell phone demos and just see if they say anything because i'm sure they'll be like hey how how do you know about cell phone just just bring this up to a uh, artificial brain on their tour with cattle decapitation as well as that uh back of the face band and I did not know that the vocalist from Artificial Brain does vocals for uh, Buckshot Facelift. Like, I don't know. I, I was surprised. I was like, I recognize that dude. I recognize his vocal patterns. And I recognize his stage mannerism. And I was like, oh shit. It's the same guy from Artificial Brain. And then 
we had a little conversation and yeah but cell phone it's a cool demo and i recommend it if you like fucking failure check this out if you can i'm gonna try and find a link but as always thanks for watching hails